But you didn't tell me, did you? Instead, you climbed into bed with me. You made love to me. You went from John's bed to mine! You slut. In case he happened. I'm a big fan of General Hospital, and I like to watch it. I like Tony and Bobby, but I'm a little fed up with this Tony thing because he's a little out of control. I think you ought to cut Bobby a break and give her a chance. On Days of Our Lives, I want to see John Black kill Stefano because he's such a jerk. You know what, what I... you would really like to see on Bold and the Beautiful is... Rich and Brick get back together finally now that Taylor's out of the picture. I'm a fan of uh, One Life to Live, and I would love to see Vicky get back together with Clint because I just don't like her with Sloan. I'm a really big fan of General Hospital, and I really think right now Max should ease up on Robin and Stone and just let them be kids and be in love and don't give them such a hard time because Stone's a good guy. On Days of Our Lives, I think Ed Vivian should get what's coming to her and that Kate should get back her egg and her baby and that Victor should smarten up and not be so stupid to believe everything Ed Vivian says. On As the World Turns, they need to get rid of Holden. Lily belongs with Damien and Kirk needs to get away from Connor. Connor, go back to Cal. I watch When I to Live and I want Todd Manning to go to jail because he doesn't deserve to live. Well, good suggestions all. For mysterious John Black. For a couple of years there, we thought we had it figured out. John Black is Roman Brady. Well, no. Later, we thought we had it yet again. John Black is Forrest Alame. Well, not exactly. He still hasn't got the slightest idea where he was all those years in between being held hostage by Stefano. Well, on today's episode, viewers got their first clue into John's murkier-than-murky murky past when Celeste got a little carried away and said more than she should have. What did you say? You must. You must forget it. Your past will only cause you pain, and you've had enough pain to last you a lifetime. Tell me about it. What is in my past that will cause me pain? Come on, I've got to know. It involves Kristen, doesn't it? No, Stefano told me that there was something in my past that would drive me away from Kristen forever, but I don't believe him. Oh, never doubt Stefano, never. No, I don't believe there's anything that can keep me away from Kristen. No, there is something, there is something, too. But you must trust me and just well, leave it alone, I okay? I trust you, all you've done is lie. <sighs> I don't know why you're lying, but I do know that nothing can ever keep me from marrying Kristen. You can't marry her. Why the hell can't because I? You're married oh gee another wife popping up from the past to shout boo folks i've been saying it hello for over a week uh, but today you get to hear it straight from the horse's mouth with me is eileen davidson who plays Kristen on days of our lives and she's also the organizer of daytime at the beach welcome Ta -da. thank Ta -da. you she's already flashing her t-shirt you can buy one of these yeah they are. at the at the event the event all right so tell us all about it okay. where when how who what august 13th yes 12 noon to 6 p.m will rogers state beach lifeguard station number five that's off of pacific coast highway and Temescal canyon yeah. Yeah, 12 to 6. I said that. Good. And who all is going to be there? Oh Everybody. Oh, gosh. Uh, lots of people. 50 people from both east and west coasts. Great. We've got Hillary Bailey-Smith, Karen Witter, Karen Moncrief, Drake Hogeston, Pat Muldoon, Christy Clark, uh, Jim Reynolds, Renee Jones, Joe Mascola. we got to sign a petition. Get him in the dunk tank. <laughs> <laughs> the priority. Uh, Fritz Coleman is going to be one of our auctioneers. You're coming too, yeah. Shelley. Yay. And uh, lots of people from YNR, Scott Reeves, Missy Reeves, Jerry Douglas, um... So many, 50, like I said. That's your old stomping Lots of people, ground. Right. Yeah. Lots of people from Guiding Light, five, Marge Doucet, Melissa Hayden, Barbara Crampton. And, and they're still Crampton. signing up. Yeah, it's been a terrific turnout. I'm so proud to be a part of this acting community. All right, now we've got to do this trivia question, so oh. go to it. Okay, for your chance to win a pair of free VIP tickets to Daytime at the Beach, be the first to correctly answer this question. John Black first arrived in Salem as one-third of a game played by my dad, Stefano Demera, Victor Kiriakis, and Ernesto Toscano. Stefano controlled John, the pawn. Victor controlled the money, the purse. 
What did Ernesto contribute to the puzzle? Give us a call at 1-800. I think you know the answer. Oh, yeah. And we're going to be right back with the lucky prize. Wow. No! Well, that just means... But you're going to tell them what the correct oh, answer is. Oh, okay. Go ahead. It's the... The prism. Yeah. Oh. The prism. We yeah. finally stumped the audience. It, the prism was supposed to have magical healing powers. Yeah. And Bo and Hope eventually found it buried in the ice of their local ice capade. <laughs> no. Yeah, you can look that up. <laughs> <laughs> look that up in your Funkin' Wagnall. Well, gee, I know still people are going to, can still come. Oh, right? yes. Absolutely. You can get tickets still... for everybody. You can get tickets the day of the event. You know? Oh, good. So, so you can just show up and buy them kind of at the door. That's right. So Dunk speak. Tank, there's going to be Carnival Games. Gloria Loring's going to perform. Uh, John Lindstrom, John, uh, Wally Kurth and his band. Fantastic. Yeah. Daytime at the beach, August 13th, dial 310 to Just one more break, and then another All My Kids veteran visits Corinth, and Days Kristen finally makes a decision about the men in her life. And over on Days of Our Lives, Kristen Blake Demira has been agonizing for months. Is it husband Tony that she wants, or lover John? Well, on today's episode, the viewers, along with John, finally heard her answer. So what's your decision, Kristen? You don't have to fight for me. I love you so much. I want to spend my life with you. Elizabeth calling from Massachusetts. Did you see John's face? He can't believe it. I know. It was awful, though. Awful. I'm so, I'm so sick of Kristen. I think she's oh. the worst. Oh, no. She keeps on vacillating yeah. between the two. I know. It's, and, then, and then she'll go back to Tony and he'll say, I love you, I need you, you're so important to me, and then she won't oh, go exactly. with exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Drive me crazy. Exactly. But we enjoy watching it, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Thanks. Coming Dilemma is Days of Our Lives, John Black. He loves Kristen, but he also sort of loves Marlena. Well, what's a poor guy to do? Well, since John obviously can't make up his mind, Pure Soap thought we'd let the show's fans make it up for him. So if you think, yes, John Black belongs with Kristen Demira, call 1-900-656-9191. However, if you think, no, I'd prefer to see John with ex-love Marlena, Call 1-900-656-9292. Remember, each vote costs you 75 cents, and you must be over 18 to call. And, so be the, and it's such a hot issue that we've decided to ask again. Right now, Days of Our Lives John is head over heels in love with Kristen. But it wasn't so long ago that he was sharing a conference table horizontally with ex-wife Marlena. So far, you seem split on which woman you'd like to see John with. So we're going to ask you to vote on it one more time and break the tie. If you think, yes, John should stay with current love, Kristen, call 1-900-656-9191. Or if you think, no, John belongs back with Marlena, call 1-900-656-9292. Remember, you must be at least 18 to vote. Each call costs you 75 cents stars battling 100 degree temperatures to mix and mingle and sweat on their fans, to sign autographs, to pose for pictures, and to take a turn in the dunk tank, all in the name of a great charity. I started working at Padre Latinos as a volunteer, helping the, the four and five year olds specifically take their naps and, and getting their lunch ready. And then I started taking them on, on field trips to Disneyland and Universal Studios and barbecues at my house and trips to the beach. And um, I've been doing it for about five years and it's just kind of grown into um, a real love affair for me. It was really neat to have all the actors that committed to it showed up. <laughs> really terrific people. And um, that's really neat. The entertainment was awesome. And um, it was good. Lots of good fans. The naughtiest thing I've done today was uh, I, would, I took off my shorts and played volleyball in my Calvins for like a minute. For and a then, minute? Yeah. Well, but... you, you have the kind of physique that does those Calvins. Ah! <laughs> this is what he did all day. All day long. Okay? I'm not the best side. I'm uh yeah, I'm not I'm not embarrassed for anything right now. <laughs> few days of our lives fans it's how passionately you get involved in the show's storylines on thursday 
Pure Soap asked, asked which woman you'd prefer seeing John with, and the response was overwhelming for both sides. Right now, Kristen and Marlena are still running neck and neck, so we are going to give you one last chance to make your voice heard on this obviously very controversial issue. So for the last time, if you think that, yes, John belongs with Kristen, call one nine. Or if you think that, no, John belongs with Marlena, then you call. Uh, you know what? We should throw up one last number. Perhaps John should go with moi. <laughs> if you think so, then call 1-900-I'M-A-BIMBO. That's 1-900-I'M-A-B-I-M-B-O. Remember, you must be 18 to vote. Each call will cost you 75 cents, and we're going to be announcing those results later in the show. The viewers have spoken and the viewers have spoken loudly. When it comes to who is the right woman for days of our lives, John, the majority of you let your fingers do the talking and you voted for me. And I am so touched. I don't know what to say. You guys, this is the girl. I'm just kidding. You voted for his ex-wife, Marlena. Roman, Roman, you don't care what his name is. As long as Drake Hoganson and Deidre Hall keep steaming up your screen five days a week. And this that we've shaken the sand out of the cameras and we've washed the seaweed out of our hair and aren't you grateful for that kids really it is time to head back to the surf for more on daytime at the beach hey what's happening guys <laughs> it all started with Carla Los Niños and Eileen Davidson uh oh 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 a real love affair for me and uh they needed a fundraiser they didn't have one going this year so we talked i was sitting in a makeup chair and uh eileen davidson said hey you're going to an event i said cool that was about it just a wonderful charity and a chance to meet great actors then eileen invited a few close personal friends for a little r and r a little schmoozing and of course let's not forget about fundraising my woman just wrote me a check for five hundred dollars because she was outbid on a tour of days with me as the guide so she said i'll write the check for five hundred if you'll take me i'm like yeah so you know we got an extra five hundred from this woman isn't that awesome it's so great and that goes right to the organization entertainment was provided i'm the one i'm the one the one they got the seven sons i've been wandering around i've been sampling the food good food um but I worked this booth where you hit things. What do you call that? You throw things and you hit things, and then you give things. So I was like, you throw it, you win, you know? <laughs> Shelly Taylor Morgan mingled. You're getting a chance. Am I? Yes, we'll see, I got one right here. Oh, God. <laughs> see? You know, some, well, I should Somebody use sunscreen. Hold me up. <laughs> I'll hold you up. Oh, God, I'm having up. the greatest day. <laughs> Even though it was very hot. Mm -hmm. This is what menopause oh. is all about. Oh. Oh. We're having a great time. Fans and soap stars alike had a great time raising money for Para Los Niños. Pure soap, you've been the best. You've been very supportive and you, you, you promoted the show in an unbelievable manner. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to give you a little something from each show, and I think we'll start with uh, Days of Our Lives, because as we know, James Riley, uh, the wild man head uh, writer of Days of Our Lives, always has something great in store for you. And he says that in the Bo, Billy, Gina triangle, there will be a wedding, definitely a wedding. And we're going to go out on a limb, and we're going to say it's going to be with Gina, who's going to turn out to be Hope, if, in fact, she really is Hope, regardless of what the DNA says. Uh, he also says that Marlena is going to be involved in a major mystery that's going to have an extremely dramatic outcome.